Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss uh, Bayesian belief networks in machine learning with a simple solved example. This is the solved example number 5. Link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case, uh, we have been given 4 attributes battery, fuel, gauze, and uh, start. The gauze depends on battery and uh, fuel. Similarly, the value of this start, whether the car will start or not, depends on battery and fuel here. Also, uh, the conditional probabilities are given. That is, uh, probability of uh, battery is equal to bad is uh, 0.1 here. So, probability of a battery is equal to good is 1 minus uh, 0.1. So, that will become uh, 0.9 over here. Similarly, probability of uh, fuel is equal to empty is uh, 0.2. Probability of uh, fuel is equal to not empty, definitely 1 minus 0.2, that is 0.8 here. Now, the conditional probability for this uh, gauze depends on uh, battery and fuel. That's the reason we need to write uh, multiple uh, probabilities over here. That is, probability of uh, gauze is equal to empty given battery is good, fuel is not empty, that's the first condition, which is equal to 0.1. Second time, uh, battery is good, uh, fuel is uh, empty. Third time, battery is bad, fuel is not empty. Fourth time, battery is bad and fuel is empty in this case. So, there are four possibilities when uh, gauze is empty. There is another possibility that is gauze is not empty. Probability of gauze is not empty given again these particular four possibilities over here. So that will be 1 minus 0 0.1, 1 minus 0 0.8, 1 minus 0 0.2, 1 minus 0 0.9 and so on. At the same time, uh, we can write the conditional probabilities for uh, start is uh, something like this. Probability of start is equal to no. Probability of start is equal to yes. Given again four conditions because uh, the start depends on battery as well as fuel over here. And these are the con uh, probabilities uh, given to us. Given these particular probabilities, we need to answer few questions over here. First one is uh, we need to calculate the probability that battery is good, fuel is empty, gauze is empty as well as uh, start is equal to yes here. If you want to calculate it, uh, we can do it something like this. Uh, this one, that is probability of battery is equal to good. The battery doesn't depend on anything. So, we will write probability of battery is equal to good. Uh, fuel again doesn't depend on anything. So, we will write probability of uh, fuel is equal to empty multiplied by when it comes to gauze. The gauze depends on battery as well as fuel here. So, that's the reason we will write something like this. Probability of uh, gauze is equal to empty given what is given to us? Battery is good and fuel is empty. So, those are the two conditions we write here. Multiplied by probability of uh, start is equal to yes. That is what we want to calculate here. Again, start depends on what? It depends on battery as well as fuel here. So, battery is equal to what? Good is given. Fuel is equal to empty given. So, that is what I have written in the given condition over here. Then we need to put all those particular values. Probability of battery is equal to good. Uh, that is uh, 0.9 in this case because probability of battery is equal to bad is 0.1. So, definitely it will be 0.9 in this case. And then uh, probability of uh, fuel is equal to empty. It is already given here 0.2. Probability of uh, G is equal to empty given battery is equal to good as well as uh, fuel is equal to empty. Uh, G is equal to empty that is with this one. Battery is good as well as uh, fuel is empty uh, that is equal to 0.8 here that is given in this case. Similarly, uh, we have to write uh, the last one that is uh, probability of start is equal to yes. Here start is equal to no we have written. So, we have to calculate the other side of this one. But what is the condition? Battery is equal to good, fuel is equal to empty. Again this condition and uh, other side of this one is 1 minus 0.8 because we are expecting yes is equal to uh, yes over here. So, if I multiply all these particular things, I will get 0 0.0288 as the probability in this case. We will try to solve one more example. That is, uh, probability of uh, battery is equal to bad, fuel is equal to empty, G is equal to not empty, and S is equal to no over here. Again, uh, probability of uh, battery is equal to bad doesn't depend on anything. So, that will be written as it is. Probability of uh, fuel is equal to empty, again, doesn't depend on anything. Probability of uh, gauze is equal to not empty depends on battery is equal to bad and fuel is equal to empty because those are the two things given to us over here. Similarly, probability of uh, start is equal to no. Again, these are the two conditions over here. We know the value of this particular probability that is probability of uh, battery is equal to bad that is uh, 0 0.1. Probability of uh, fuel is equal to empty again which is known to us. 
probability of gauge is equal to not empty we have written empty here so we have to write the other side of this one but what is the condition battery is equal to bad and fuel is equal to empty that is this condition the other side of this one is 1 minus 0 0.9 that will be 0 0.1 over here and last one is uh, start is equal to no uh, this thing that is 1 over here so if i multiply everything i will get 0 0.002 in this particular case coming back to the last question given that battery is bad compute the probability that the car will start so what we want to calculate probability that car will start given the battery is bad over here so this is what we want to calculate in this case now if you want to calculate probability of uh, car will start it depends on two things one is what battery another one is what fuel here we know the status of battery but we don't know the status of fuel here so fuel can be what it can be empty or it can be not empty over here so that's the reason we can write it something like this probability of uh, s start is equal to s given battery is equal to bad that's for sure but we don't know the status of this particular fuel so that's the reason we will write alpha here and this can be either uh, empty or it can be not empty over here and if you want to calculate this particular probability of bad it doesn't depend on anything so it will be probability of uh, battery is equal to bad and the probability of fuel is equal to alpha here again alpha because we don't know the status here so if you want to calculate the start so probability of a start given battery and fuel and then the probability of battery and probability of fuel over here only condition is uh, we don't know the status of fuel that's the reason we have written alpha here so now we need to replace this alpha with uh, empty and not empty so i will write it uh, two times from here to here it will be empty and from here to here it will be not empty now we need to uh, put the values for these particular conditional probabilities if you look at this particular first one that is uh, probability of uh, start is equal to s yes, given uh, battery is equal to bad and uh, fuel is equal to empty so probability of start is equal to yes we are expecting battery is equal to bad and fuel is equal to empty this is the condition so what will happen here probability of yes start is equal to no is 1.0 probability of start will be equals to yes is uh, 1 minus uh, 1.0 that will become 0 here so that will be the first one probability of uh, battery is equal to bad is already given to us that is 0.1 fuel is equal to empty that is 0.2 so that is the first thing and second thing is uh, probability of uh, start is equal to yes given battery is equal to bad and uh, fuel is not empty where is that this is the condition again we are not expecting uh, start is equal to no we are expecting start is equal to yes here so 1 minus uh, 1 point, point 0.9 that will become 0 0.1 here now uh, this one that is probability of battery is equal to bad is uh, 0 0.1 again fuel is not empty that will be 1 minus 0 0.2 that will be 0 0.8 over here and uh, if I multiply all these particular values, I will get 0 0.008 in this case. So this is the final probability that the car will start given batteries bad over here. So in this example, uh, I have discussed uh, how can we use Bayesian belief network to solve the given problem definition. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.